Hi there, everybody. It's Becky Belote here, um, Creative Memories Advisor in Newport News, Virginia. Um, today, not sure how the dogs are going to do. I'm taking this opportunity right now because my husband's outside with the dog. One of the dogs, the other one has a bone. So this may be good timing. We'll see. Um, today, um, what I'm going to do is um, actually, I'm just going to show you. Um, I did a completed um, idea with what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you that first mm -hmm. so you know where we're headed. So I'm going to show you a really cool combination with um, two of our new newest punches. The, the um, I don't know how to say it, Damask Flourish and the Brocade Chain. Um, so they just came out with the silver and gold collection. So I'm going to do a double page spread with silver and gold, but I'm going to use this skill in it. Um, what you're looking at here is a page that I made just to practice to see if I liked it using um, Polar Lights. So Polar Lights is a line that you can still get. Um, if you get this as a bundle, you get um, an extra a free paper pack. So it's got embellishments, all kinds of things. Um, embellishments, mats, laser borders, uh, stickers, and um, a, a paper pack, and also the free paper pack. All right. But today, I am going to use um, the silver and gold collection, which came out with these two. And these also come with the silver and gold embellish, mm -hmm. um, silver and gold bundle. And you also get a free paper pack if you get the bundle. So I'm trying to, to show you uh, why you want the bundle. It's it's so pretty um, all in combination. A lot of times, you know, people think I do great layouts and I do really simple layouts and I do the same things over and over again, quite frankly. Um, but I'm changing my paper and I use the whole collection. Um, when you use the whole collection, everything is meant to go together. And um, it's just a, a different look than if you're trying to hodgepodge different collections together. I just actually told somebody that um, today. But anyways, um, one of the things you're going to see in this is some foiled gold and silver letters that come in that bundle. And these are in the script. Um, so you can make them kind of look like they're doing cursive when you use these letters. But I like that style a lot. Um, and then um, we have the mat pack and the mat pack has some foiling in it. Not everyone has some foiling, but there's a lot of foiling on the mats in the mat pack. Um, also, we have, I think I'm going to put these where I can see them. Also, we have some really pretty layered embellishments. So when I say layered, for those of you that like to use um, foam, our foam pads or our foam roll, um, you like that because it gives it dimension and I like it a lot. But on this particular pack of embellishments, they're already popped. So they already have that adhesive in them already to give already a 3D look. And there's a mix of silver and gold. And some of them mix the silver and the gold on the same icon. So great um, looks here to add decoration. Um, this line, by the way, is going to match some of your other lines that you have in stock, um, like Devotion would be a good one um, for sure. Um, and also that's kind of uh, elegant. But um, you're going to find it, it, especially the silver and gold border stickers. Wow. Everybody needs those because um, you could uh, add some glitz to any line that you're working with with this. <laughs> so, of course, Pico, my bird, is, is acting up today, too. Oh, sigh. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, so the um, so this the shades of silver and gold, this pack is the free pack that you get with this line. And I think I'm going to also put these over where I can see them. Also, there's a foiled pack of paper. So this pack of paper, most of the sheets in there have one side that uh, is foiled. So you're going to really like those. And then the stickers are all border stickers. So every single sheet are borders with foiling on them. All right. So you'll like those, I think. All right. And then we have one more paper pack, um, the silver and gold tone on tone. These are in the same hues, but these are not foiled. So these are kind of toned down, which quite frankly, I always love my tone and tone, tone on tones. Um, 
I like the really pretty busy sheets, but I like them minimalized so that it doesn't overtake my whole page. But that is a personal preference. All right. So what I want to teach you how to do is, like I said, mix this beautiful punch. You can do two borders at a time if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I didn't pre-measure to see how much we need, but I'm just going to guess at how much we need. I'm going to do, um, oh, this is risky, isn't it? But I really feel good about, I'm going to cut a four inch strip off of this piece of paper. All right, and since it's four inch, I then need to score it two inch. Because I'm going to do two borders at a time to save you and me some time today. I just want to score this. I'll know after I do it if I didn't give myself enough space. Pretty sure I did. That's a bad thing about doing things live. All right, so one side is, is um, folded, the other side isn't. And it doesn't really matter which side you do this on. I do recommend, um, what do I recommend? Let's do the open side. The good thing about the open side is they're going to fall apart without me having to cut it apart. All right, so then what I want us to do, use your mat or a ruler to get a center. All right, so I want to center it at, um, so that my six is here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a pen of some sort and put a uh, dot on there. It's going to be cut away. Ooh, my focus went out for a minute there. That looks better, right? Okay, so hopefully you can see that dot there. All right, so that is my center. I'm going to go upside down. Uh, this uh, this punch has a very prominent middle here. So I'm going to put that dot underneath that very prominent middle. So my little green dot that I put is right under the tip of that. I have put this piece of paper opened edge in up to that dot. And then what I want to do, I want to slide. Look at this window right here. See that black in there? I want to slide until the black disappears. All right. And then I'm going to do one here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So you can see the black here. I'm going to slide it until it disappears. I remember that thing about um, it falling, falling off. <laughs> I told you to do the wrong side. We would have still have to cut it off, but not like this. So anyways, um, but, but since I told you to do it this way, we're going to continue and, um, it's going to be a real life how I would fix this problem. <laughs> All right. So then what I want to do, I want to take my uh, border maker cartridge, the Baroque. This, by the way, is really pretty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a border for you with this. It's the way it's supposed to be done with the border maker cartridge so that you can see how pretty it is. I think you can already see how pretty this border is. <gasps> I know y'all are saying, oh, my gosh, this is probably one of the prettiest. I have ever seen and you definitely want it um but i want to show you this other one brocade <clears throat> all right hmm. Sorry, <clears throat> I have a tickle. <clears throat> well, good grief. <clears throat> Is it caught on something? <clears throat> yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful? <clears> there, <throat> I can't clear my throat. Give me a second. <clears throat> so if it's not the dogs, it's me. Okay, so there's that. 
All right, so that one's super pretty too. <clears throat> <clears throat> and we're going to use it upside down. I might have to do this without talking. So um, we're going to do the exact same thing <clears throat> where this edge is lined up. So you should be able to see a dark space here. I'm going to slide it back until the dark space is gone. And if you do this right, <clears throat> You should have a, a blob right here that's not cut. Do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> so I can see the black in this hole. I'm gonna slide it till it's filled up just like we did before. <clears throat> if it gets caught on something when you go to pull it out, it's this little piece right here. And the really cool thing about that is we're going to cut it off anyway. So it didn't catch on me this time, but it did catch on me earlier. It's not a big deal. We're going to cut it off. So if it tears off, not a big deal. We're going to cut it off anyways. All right. The next thing I'd like you to do, easy so far, right, is grab your trimmer. Thank goodness my throat cleared. I haven't been coughing or anything, guys. So that was just a, as much a surprise to me as it was you. All right, so we're going to put this up against that little black, uh, gray strip there. And, ooh, I have my scoring blade in. That will never cut it, will it? So, again, I'm just lining up with the matte strip. That's one I just want to cut off a little bit. It's a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. All right. And then what I want to do... <clears throat> yeah, this is not going to be a problem at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stand by my original directions that we're going to cut towards the open side, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up these blocks here. So, so it's a really um, ornate border, but it's got these notches, these blocks at the top that have been uncut. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to line those up at one and one half. So we've got the one, we've got the two. We want it right in between the one and the two, and we're going to cut it off. And what that's going to do is cut off our, um, this guy. All right. So now we have two matching borders. <clears throat> and the reason I wanted you to cut off just that little bit is when we go to put this on our paper, I'm gonna build on black today. I love the elegance of black. Ooh, look, I got three sheets, crazy. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put the shimmery side up. And you can see, I like this look um, where it looks like it's kind of been matted. The reason, so I cut it off and it's got this little margin around the edge, which I think is crazy pretty. All right, so we're gonna do that. Isn't that pretty? Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I took this piece of paper. Um, this is uh, black, but it's got a little bit of um, color and a little um, gold. So I'm gonna just cut this in half. You can use just a regular straight blade. You can throw a deckle in there, whatever you want. I'm gonna cut this off at six inches. <clears throat> You're gonna to wanna to use your repo when you put this down. The repositionable tape is gonna tackle all these little holes for us. Be gentle, it is fragile, especially these pieces, these, um, what are they called, brocade pieces that are not attached to anything really much. I cannot believe my dogs are cooperating. Thank goodness, because today would have been a total fiasco. I know it's not done yet. The guy that was mowing our next door neighbor's yard is now approaching our yard. So no promises, he do, they do know who he is, but you know, they just don't need much.
Yeah, if I was using regular tape, I would be probably pulling my hair out right now. The repositionable works really nice when you have these uh, little ornate things that you want to put down. And then, in all honesty, at this point, if I would use regular tape, it would be more economical. As an advisor, sometimes I'm not the most economical, but I do recommend that you be economical unless you want to be an advisor too. I, I get just crazy mad if I need to do something like this and I have the wrong adhesive in my hand. So it's not that I'm trying to be wasteful. It's trying to save my sanity um, from checking, just, um, going back and forth. All right. So I like that. And then I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to grab... I can find where I put them. I was really excited to use these foiled uh, stickers. And I think I'm going to use, huh. You know what's really cool is I almost could do kind of a silver and gold mix if I pull in this fine looking one. I think I'm going to do that. This fine one is. Um, in my opinion, a little bit more in the silver family. I'm going to throw that down there because I think my paper choice is going to be very helpful to blend this. So if you're following along at home, you don't need a border at all. But if you want one, use this one if you want to match mine. All right. <clears throat> and then um, maybe a mat from the mat pack. Um, I don't know if I need to be that fancy on this one. Kind of like that. I always try to include at least one mat because it saves my other paper when I'm using the mats that are already ready for this. And how about a little journal box? Yeah, this could be a journal box. And I think what I'm going to do, which I often do, just because they have it a certain size doesn't mean we have to keep it a certain size. So I'm going to trim it down. I just want it for that journal space. So I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. Um, I think I'm also even going to put some lines on it. You guys, I am clearly just thinking as I go. So um, <clears throat> it, it'll come out, though. I'm going to put my perforating blade in. I like this for making my own journal boxes. Um, you could also just put lines on it. I'm going to go ahead, um, you know, like with ink. What I'm doing is every line, I'm lining it up to the first line over here. So there's a first line right here at the first line past that uh, gray strip. And I am envisioning as close as I can to where that line that I just cut extends to it. Y'all probably can't see the lines very well at home, but there's a line there, there's a line there, and this line is lined up as best as I can with that line. I'm stopping, I'm starting and stopping at the top and the bottom of my circle as best as I can. And I think one more will do it. All right. There's my Gracie. So then we have this one in here for the little journal box. And then you have space for um, other things. I'm going to grab, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just put some black down here. We use, oh, ooh, or maybe this. Let's use this scrap that we had left over down at the bottom, at least for one of them, right? Let's do a, a standard four by six. Let's throw back in the proper blade. I'm going to line the line on the side here with the six so I don't waste my paper in case I want it for something else. And then I'm going to go up here, line this edge with the six. 
that gave me another beautiful mat. I'm going to put it there. I think I'm going to do a circle down there too. Ooh, need to move this for a second. I like about a four inch circle. This is our one of our newer um, tools that I really like for, you know, it's a little bit faster than the other one. Actually, I even like the side with the polka dots, some variation down there. So I'm talking out loud so you can hear how I think when I build. Because I have this white journal box, I think it's very appropriate to throw some white in at the top if you want to. Um, let me see if I see another mat that I want to use. Gracie, be quiet, love bug. Mm, I like that one, don't you? This one has a little bit of gilding in it too. I'm going to put it over on this side. Right, and then I'm gonna stop there because I know that you know how to fill in those, but I'm just gonna throw some embellishments on here for it. Um, it says make a toast. This has a little heart action going on there. So maybe I can make this something. Life is sweet, loved. But what about a combination of things? So this page could be kind of generic. <clears throat> what if I put like one of those, one of those, just to give it some pop. Might even overlap them some like that. What do you think about that? Is that super pretty? All right, well. I'm going to show my screen. I don't think my dog is going to hold out much longer. Like she's like looking at me like, talk to me, mom, talk to me. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to leave, but here we go. Um, I, I thank you for watching. I hope that you got some good ideas on how to use these punches together. Um, I do have my holiday open house for my clients this weekend. Um, like 30 something people are coming. I'm very excited about that. Um, so I only had time to throw, throw together one idea for you today, but I hope that's very helpful and I hope you'll try it and y'all have a great week now.